I was one of the first ones through the school back in 71 too. Graduated in 73. My husband was diagnosed with stage four metastasized prostate cancer, which means it had already gone into the bones. The doctor had told us that he had a year or less to live, and I have, we have been blessed, and I've had him six years now. Today I had chicken alfredo and uh, french fries and a bowl of mushroom soup. It was all awesome. There's always a favorite part when there's food involved. He spends the majority of his time sleeping, so this gave him something to look forward to, to have this tour, to have this adventure. The caregiver, a lot of times, is dealing with a lot of stress. A lot of stress that we don't even realize or think about sometimes, and, and sometimes I don't even think they're aware of the stress they're facing. And just to be able to spend time as a husband and a wife in this role that they were originally accustomed to is, I think, just a great opportunity for them. People don't realize that hospice really is about living, and they don't expect that we would even offer something like this with the Lorain County Joint Vocational School and being able to engage with young people, to engage with students, to experience the things they're learning and let them show off a little of their talents, I think is a, an exciting opportunity. Oh, it means a lot because when you're sitting in the house all the time, you just move from chair to chair or window to window, and this way you get out and you get to see how fast the seasons are going before you know it'll be springtime already. I'm blessed today to be able to bring him out. Spending this time together means more than I can put into words.